Since February 13th, the Tunisian Constituent Assembly has held numerous meetings to discuss the newly adopted electoral law. And despite some being up in arms about the article which denies Tunisian security forces the right to vote, it looks like it's sticking. The government says it's in the country's best interest as Tunisian military police and the National Guard will take charge of maintaining order and ensuring the candidates and voters' safety. We have decided to maintain the ban on Tunisian security forces, not to deprive them of their civil rights, but to tell them that they shoulder a heavy responsibility to ensure a smooth vote. Even if there are disputes among those political parties, I hope they do a good job. The election concerns everyone's vital interests, and that's why we decided to ban their voting right. But the Tunisian National Union of Security Forces wasn't convinced and organized a sit-in demonstration on May 29th outside the Constituent Assembly. The government is standing its ground. The electoral law means a lot to us. The law is a regulation for the presidential election protecting the voters' rights. All the organizations involved in the preparation for the election will work in accordance with the law. Some fear that if the country's security forces decide to boycott the law, Tunisia's crunch elections may be thrown into chaos. Clementine Logan, CCTV.